Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. For those of you who are from the U.S., I hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday and that you didn't eat too much turkey, unless it was really good. And if you did, I totally understand. How can you say no? <laughs> so today I'm going to share with you a tip that's really more for those of you who use the command line. Um, which, let's face it, is probably almost all of us. Some of us just use it more than others. And I get asked this a lot. I get asked, how do I make my command line stand out so much when I do these videos? If you take a look in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, you're looking at the default setting for the command line. It's kind of wimpy. It's a wimpy command line. You can barely see it. It's like invisible. <laughs> you want it bold. You want to be able to see what's going on down there because it's talking to you. This is how AutoCAD talks to you. Let's not make it wimpy. Let's make it bold. So how do you do that? Well, I go into options. I like to do a right click at the command line to go into options. You can type in OP to go into options. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. Pick your poison. Go to the display tab on the ribbon. Easy for me to say. And you're going to go to fonts. All right. Now, by default, it defaults to this consolas font, regular with a height of 10. I personally prefer the Lucy de console. And I like it to be nice and bold. And I make it as large as I can make it, which is 14, which is the largest that any of these go to. You can't make any of them larger than 14, but this looks really nice and bold. And it's easy to see. It's great for you if you're doing presentations, if you are a CAD manager and you're showing other people on your computer. It's easy for people to look over your shoulder. Um, it just seems to be a desirable height. It's nice and bold, easy to see. That's all I'm saying. All right. So as you can see down there, now it's really easy to see. All right. Now, for those of you who want to take it one step further, I'm not saying I advocate this, but I've seen it done. Once again, I'm not saying I advocate it. You can pick colors. We were in fonts. I just clicked on colors. You can go to command line and you'll see that it has this gray background for the history. It has a white background for all of the active prompt text. This guy right here. Um, you can actually modify this like right here, the active prompt text. You can see it's the, the, the text itself is black and the, the background is white. I have seen people do this. I'm not saying I advocate it. I've seen them make it yellow to make it even easier to see. Black on yellow is supposed to be the easiest combination to see. I'm not saying I recommend it. Let's take a look at it. Ah, that'll keep you awake. Now as you're typing, I want to go on the line command, the K line command, the line command, um, which of course you'd never spell out. But nevertheless, it's very easy to read. It's easy to see. Um, it's a little bit too much for me, but you can't say I didn't show you. It's up to you. But now you can see that you can control the color. Maybe you don't want it to be black. Maybe you want it to be magenta. You can also go right back in there and you can change the color of it to of the of the actual text to magenta or blue or green, whatever color you feel like. You have complete control of the font and all the colors of the command line. It's just that simple. Okay, so set it up the way you want it to look. Why wouldn't you? Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks.